All right, folks, Hunter Bob here. <laughs> So Ben, what have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. Alright guys, today's going to be another video, another test run of the 99% uh, done gasifier. Last thing I need to do is hook it up to an engine after this video. Um, but first I'm going to show you a little bit about what I've done to it since uh, I guess my last test run. But if you don't care about what I've done to it since last test run, then you can skip to this time right here in order to see me uh, spark up the gasifier and light off the flame and see what color of flame it is. So with that said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So today I have a final test run video for you. Um, this will be the final test just to see if my blower actually works. And I'll be doing that once that sun starts to go down. It's pretty high right now. It is uh, 648. So uh, that'll probably be in a few hours. But I'm going to tell you about what I did first to this blower. It is like 99% done. I have my blower wired up to a switch. Um, right here, a dimmer switch. And that's really not off. you got to push it in in order to turn it off, on and off. But that works great. Um, You'll see me demonstrate that in the video, I guess. I have a initial startup blower to um, by not really bypass, but just to not let the gas go through my filters on startup. That way it, it uh, gets my gasifier up to temperature so that the tar and crap doesn't get stuck in my, uh, doesn't go through my filters and clog them up. Uh, additionally, I've painted my radiators, my second cyclone and first filter um, painted this whole part white, painted my first two cyclones and my main unit and hopper black. Um, I painted those black because I figured that the paint will burn off anyway with the heat. And I painted the radiators in my sec in my second si or my third cyclone and my first filter white because they need to be uh, reflecting the sun's heat to stay cool. I've also added a um, condensation catch inside of my uh, hopper. For when I'm using for using wood, uh, because the wood is a little bit uh, damp, about I don't know 20, 15 percent ish uh, moisture by weight. So what I have here is two like a bead of uh, silicone coming up at an angle like this all the way around the back of my hopper, and it wraps down and uh, kind of comes down and collects right there into this too. I'm gonna see how well that works today. Um, other than that, I mean. I've sealed up all my welds with silicone, I've capped off my pipes with PVC, I've made real gaskets with Gasket Maker, I've done just about everything. So uh, I, the only thing I haven't done that I said I was going to do is fill my last filter full of um, scrubber pads. I filled it instead full of um, hay, about, I don't know, about that much with hay with some steel wool around the edge to keep the gases from just going towards the edge and going out. I want it to go through the center through the hay. Uh, I've done that because uh, scrubber pads, I couldn't find any bulk, um, I guess, supplies for cheap, so just said screw it, I'll use hay. I've got big chunks in that filter, wood pellets in that filter, and uh, hay in that filter, so there should be plenty of cleaning room, not to mention three cyclone filters, so I should, I should in theory, be good on catching the ash in small particles. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and tell you the fuel I'll be using today. I'm drying it out over here. I got it yesterday. Um, I'll cut to a clip of how I got that right now. Alright guys, I'm down here in the stream trying to get some fuel from my gasifier. The only wood pellets I could find in stores around here, I went to Lowe's, TSC, Rule King, Walmart, everywhere. Even called a few fireplace stores and all they sell is Easy Heat wood pellets and the Rule King kind. So those both contain pine sawdust in the pellets, which is a no-go for me because of the tar that it'll produce. So I'm resorting to this slightly better option uh, of breaking up a lot of these small sticks that I found in here, trying to avoid the piles of coon crap, the 
pieces of trash and all the mud and leaves out of this uh, pile and uh, trying to get the good stuff. Uh, I'll be running this in my next test run. If that works, then I might just make a make some sort of a device to harvest this or I'll also probably try to use cracked corn just things that I can easily get I'm gonna try cracked corn probably I don't know peach pits olive pits uh, cherry pits maybe dry out some mulch or something I don't know just do anything I can get uh, or that I can do to get some cheap uh, reliable fuel for my gasifier so if this works out, that'll be great. Uh, it'll be what I'm using in my test video uh, at the end of this video. So stick around for that, and thanks for watching. All right, so uh, I got this fuel from the stream, and I've been letting it dry in the sun. It's been like 70-something degrees, sunny and windy all day today. And this fuel is really dry now. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable with it now. Um, obviously, it's got some leaves, bark, and just other crap in there. I don't really care, I'll just run it anyway. I had a test run beforehand where I burned out the pine and uh, then my blower actually fell off. It rattled itself, rattled itself off of my thing, fell off and broke. So I'm not gonna show that test run even though it, uh, it was working okay. So there's no more pine pellets left in there. I'm starting it straight from uh, wood chunks. So I should be good. I guess when the sun goes down over there in a few hours, I will light it up and show you the uh, test run. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so the sun has gone down for about 10, 15 minutes, and I'm having some terrible problems keeping this thing lit. Um, it's definitely the fuel bridging up. I try to break those pieces into the smallest as I can get, but still, but still somehow this size fuel is getting bridged, or bridging up in my hopper, so I'm going to do the only thing I know to do, and that's put on the big blower, turn it on, and see if I can get some super suction through there to get that fire going. So I'm going to do that and then get back to you. Alright guys, so I have a sustainable flame. I, I put my big blower on there right now so I can get it up to temperature. Got a sustainable flame on my big blower in downdraft mode. I'm going to cut that blower off, move it over there to that filter, shut the top, and uh, open the air hole. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to have it run through the filter and on fire in a minute. Well guys, I uh, just checked the hopper. It's really low on wood. So I'm not getting very much syngas production up here. Kind of burned it out when I tried to light the gas to fire up and I've got no more wood left to put in there. So right now I'm running on coals. But as you can see the flame is orange-ish kind of sucks that I can't do this test. I guess I'll get back to you. I know it creates burnable fuel, so I guess I'll get back to you once I have some uh, some more fuel to put in. Ah, that's great. All right, I'll give you a look down inside the hopper. I'll turn this thing off. I'll give you a look down inside the hopper, because I am, I believe, fresh out of fuel. What does it look like down in there? Yep, it's all coals down there in the all just in the reaction zone or combustion zone. Nothing in the paraly or paralysis zone. So <sighs> that means I got nothing feeding my syngas production. Well, and I literally have no fuel left to burn. None in that bucket. I put it all in there. Uh, when I started the test run, or right at, shortly after I started the test run, when you saw the flame coming off of that end down there, that orange flame. So, uh, that sucks. I guess I'll, uh, I know it works at least. I had a, I had a flame, a flame without filters that was orange. So, I know it produces burnable syngas on just regular pieces of crappy wood. Those are little sticks in the stream, as you saw earlier. So, I guess my next test run will probably be on corn. Uh, it's like four dollars and fifty cents a bag for a uh, whole for whole kernel corn or whatever it's called shelled corn i'm gonna try my fill up my uh, hopper with that and see how it runs probably tomorrow so that was a little bit of disappointment that i couldn't see it go through the filters but you saw the flare on the without the filters and uh, that proves that it works at least i think it was an orange color so that means i think i'm cracking most of my tar anyway Guess I'll uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching.
comment, rate, and subscribe as always. All right, so this is a post test run video, a couple minutes, uh, I'd say like five minutes after the test run uh, was over, after I shut the blower off. Uh, as you can see, or as I can see, there's no smoke coming out of my top or out of my air nozzle, indicating that I had completely burned up on my fuel, and that's probably the reason why I wasn't getting any burnable gas out of there when I was out of the radiator. But also, this is a list of things now that I need to fix that I learned during this test run. This seal right here is not sealed. Not sealed at all. I uh, felt air getting sucked in around uh, a few places around here. This seal at the top is not sealed as well, which is uh, very alarming because that's where air can get in and cause an explosion. Uh, this stuff is peeled up all around there from warping at the top of the barrel. Somehow I need to fix that. Maybe also this ring in here probably needs to be inspected to see if it melted or anything. Um, didn't see any smoke coming from the bottom. That was good. And need to check out these containers very well to see if there's um, tar in them tomorrow. But other than that, I think I'm pretty good. Uh, I just need to seal up the top of that container. And what else did I say? What else did I say? And that air filter right there and check the material in there. So this is a note to self. Also, I noticed my um, condensation catch didn't do anything, but I think my wood is super dry anyway. Um, let's see what else. Probably need to check my blower because it's probably full of tar from being on this right here because I can see tar running out of it right now. Uh, yeah, probably need to somehow fix that tomorrow. But other than that, everything turned out okay. Um, Alright, I think I'll end this video. If uh, you stick stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Um, it was a success, successful test run. Um, just I just ran out of fuel a little bit too early. It really sucks, but you know, uh, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll get some more fuel tomorrow. So, uh, with all that said, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe, as always. And have a good Memorial Day weekend.